So yeah, so there's there's the audio for track two. Um, I'll open it up, and you can see right there, those are the keys that I hit. Um, I'm just going to put the marker over there. I'm going to split this file because I've got this dead space over here. So I'm just going to go to more, split. Now I just have that part, so I can go ahead and delete that. Um, so here's where the cool thing comes in. Here's where the resampling comes in. Um, all you have to do to resample um, is drag your loop end and loop start points. Um, mute everything but the track that you want to play. Because basically what resampling does is it resamples the entire mix for your selection points. Um, so another little trick I found out is in the mixer um, is to turn whatever track you're resampling all the way up. Um, then when you import it into the TRG, it should be exactly where you had it at, where you want it at. At least that's where I, what I've found. Um, so now that I've done that, I can go to um, the TRG16. Let me make sure that um, everything's muted. Um, there's my part right there, and we'll just play that part. Turn off that click. So yeah, so there's that, uh, there's that synth part in track two. So I can go to the TRG-16, um, see which one of these I'm not using. I think I'm almost using all of them. I don't think I'm using this green right there. Um, I am using the clap, so let me edit the green one. Um, and now I'll go right here to, instead of load, because I've loaded the sample from before, I'm going to go over here to record. And I'm not recording from the mic, but I'm going to hit resample. So I'll resample. Um, it automatically shows my start bar um, how many bars it's re it's it's resampling and tells me all right there so it's pretty simple you just select the part you want to loop that you're resampling and then mute everything hit record it does its sweet little magic like this um, shows the wave file <clears throat> you can then uh, <coughs> excuse me guys um, you can then do some stuff if you want to uh, select it all. Um, you can do some trimming with it. <clears throat> you can modify the volume. You can fade it out, fade it in, normalize it, or silence part. So it's pretty pretty versatile even right now. So I'm just going to leave it how it is and hit done. Hit OK. It asks you for a name. We'll just leave it default. So now I can hit the button. I'm going to move it to a different bus. Um, so now that you can hear that that synth is now in that in that pad. Um, now I can even I can mute track two. Um, go done song. Um, and now since track two is basically redone in the sampler, I can open up um, this deal down here. Um, let's see where that started at. That started right there. So we'll open it up. Um, it started right there. So got to find that sample. I believe it's a... Uh, let's see. Is it... That one right there. Move that right there. So now we're just triggering, triggering the pad instead of playing that synth. Um, so I'll hit done, and now um, you'll hear with two muted. Now it's playing it in track six, which then allows me, obviously, if I want to, now track two, I can delete this, um, and leaves me, if I wanted to, um, to, you know, change track two to a whole different preset and make more sense um, and just you know just keep adding layers and keep adding layers I love I love layers I love texturing um, 
that's kind of my deal. So melodies and texturing, that's what I like. So being able to do that and making it super easy um, is nice. Um, other than that, um, other, a couple other little quick uh, tips is using patterns. Um, so if you can see, like, um, you can do a cool little thing. I haven't done it on this track, I kind of forgot, but to give you an example, you can make a part into a pattern um, and uh, basically um, it saves that pattern, it saves the notes that you hit and then um, if you want to implement it, you don't have to draw a new part or keep on copying the blue pieces, you just draw a new part and paste pa and change it to pattern too. Um, another cool thing, which I haven't done here, is like as you can see, I have like multiple pattern threes right there. I can just highlight all those threes except for the first one, hit delete, and then grab that first one, and then just drag it and extend it to right there. And it keeps on repeating. It just repeats the pattern over and over again. So you don't have to keep on hitting copy, 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 um, and all that stuff. So. Um, yeah, I hope that helped you guys out a little bit. Um, feel free to ask any questions, subscribe. I'm going to be cranking out more songs soon, hopefully. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. Take it easy.